Hello, today I'm going to show you my updated foundation routine because I've had several requests for me to do it and I thought it was a good idea because my last one was in May and I am doing things differently now for my routine so I wanted to show you guys that and also I wanted to mention that I'm not actually using a foundation for this routine. I'm not using a liquid or even a powder foundation anymore. This is just what I've been doing using concealer and powder basically for my coverage so yeah it's technically not a foundation routine because I'm not using foundation but then again it is my routine that I've been using so starting out I have already washed my face and I've put on toner and then moisturizer so my face is ready to go for makeup and the first thing I do is use concealer now I'm going to use two different concealers today but I really switch up my concealers pretty often um, recently I just ran out of my Maybelline Age Rewind concealer it was for dark circles but I used it all over my face and so I was wanting to try out a new concealer just to switch it up and I picked up this one by Maybelline it is the Dream Lumi Touch highlighting concealer and it's not my favorite I'll tell you that right now I definitely won't repurchase this but it was kind of expensive well expensive for the drugstore anyways I think so I'm definitely going to use it all up even though it's not my favorite just because I want to get my money's worth out of it so I'm going to use this concealer and this one by Revlon it is the photo ready concealer and I've had this forever so I'm just trying to use this up as well and then I will probably try some other concealer but yeah the concealers that I use are really not consistent lately but that doesn't really matter so First of all, I'm going to use some of the Photo Ready Concealer just because it's a little bit darker and this one's a little bit lighter so I'm going to use it on different areas of my face but I'm going to use this one first on little spots on my face that I want to cover up like blemishes or if I have any kind of like acne stuff going on, any spots. So I have some on my chin here. This concealer is really creamy and it blends out really nicely. So just like that on any spots that I have, blending it out with my finger. Sometimes I use a brush, it just depends. Right here. This one's being really stubborn and it's hard to cover up lately, so I'll probably have to go over that a couple times. And now I'm going to switch over to this concealer which was the Maybelline Dream Lumi. So I put this concealer on areas of my face that I want to be a little bit brighter. So for instance, I will put it right here around my mouth because I know for a lot of people, the skin around your mouth can tend to be a little bit darker. And then I will put it under my eyes. And then I'll put a little bit on my eyelids too. And then to blend out that concealer, I won't use my finger. I like using brushes. I like using two different brushes. I like the um, P80 Precision Flat Brush. This is by Sigma and this one is the Sigma Foundation Brush, which I don't use it for foundation. I love it for blending out concealer. I've been loving using this for concealer for months, but I like using both of these just depending on the area. So like I will use the smaller one for smaller areas, like right here by my mouth. Just kind of buffing it like that to blend out the concealer. And then for around my eyes, I like to use this bigger brush. And just patting it like this to blend it in. And also on my eyelids, on the other eye. So just like that, and then if I ever feel like I need any more on other places, then I'll just go back and add some more. Like I'm gonna come back to this spot right here and use this lighter concealer now to try to cover it. Like I said, this one is really stubborn. Doesn't like to be covered up. And then right here on my nose as well. And I think I'm gonna take the smaller brush again. 
Okay, and that is all I'm going to do for concealer. And for me, concealer is really where I get most of the coverage on my face. Next, what I do is just set the concealer that I put on my face with some powder. And I'm using the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And I also mentioned this powder in my October Favorites video. And in that video, I also mentioned what brushes I like to use to apply this. And I like to use two brushes. They are both large powder brushes by Sigma. They're both F30, but they look different because they're from different sets. But anyway, I like to use the smaller one, this one, because it's really soft and smaller. And I like to just get a little bit on the brush and then put this places like on my eyelids, underneath my eyes, to set the concealer there. And then right here on my nose chin, my forehead, and then I like to go in with the larger brush and do larger areas of my face like my cheeks. It's just really fast. I love big brushes. Just like that. I've really been loving just using concealer and powder. I think that it feels really light on my skin. It doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup on my face and I think that it looks much more natural as well. So I did the concealer and powder and then I finished up with some blush and some highlighter. So for blush, it really varies from day to day. I love blush and it's one of my favorite things about makeup. I love all the different colors and I love trying new blush colors and just always wearing a different blush color every day. I just really love blush. So it really just depends. This is not what I wear every single day. I just switch it up every day. But today I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Berry Shimmer Blush. And this is a Sonia Kashuk blush brush. So get a little bit of that and just put some on my cheeks. So I'm done with blush and then I put on some highlighter. Recently I've really been loving using this highlighter by Lorac. It is the perfectly lit highlighter in Spotlight and it's just a little mini size and I got this in my Sephora Favorites I think it's called In The Glow. It was like a value set thing. I showed it in um, my recent haul, my Sephora and CVS haul. So yeah, I've been loving using that for highlighter. And I used this little brush. This is a tapered highlighter brush. It's the F35 by Sigma. So I get a little bit of the highlighter on there and then I just put it on the tops of my cheekbones here. Just like that. And I find that this highlighter is really buildable and it starts out pretty light, so it's kind of hard to go overboard unless you just get a lot on your brush at first. But just start out with a little bit and then I can build it up if I want more highlighter. But I really like that this highlighter looks so natural and it doesn't look like you have super frosty cheeks or something crazy like that. So I just put it on the top of my cheekbones and then right here underneath my brow bone just like that and taking it around like this. So it just looks like that. And um, that's pretty much all I do for my foundation routine. Just do some concealer, set it with powder, put on some blush and highlighter, and I'm good to go. So yeah, that is all I've been doing for my current updated foundation routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful, especially if you were someone who had commented and wanted to see what I had been doing recently for my foundation routine. And for those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have a very happy, Thanksgiving with your family. Today is Tuesday and I'm going home. Actually, right after this video, I'm driving home and I will be able to be with my family for Thanksgiving. So I'm very excited to see them and I think I might do some kind of video while I'm there. I might do a vlog. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm bringing my camera and everything. So we'll see what I'm able to film while I'm there. But yeah, I hope that you all have a very wonderful Thanksgiving, whatever you're doing. I hope that it is great for you. So thanks for watching and have a great day.